Well, when you look at genocide unfolding before you as you're sitting comfortably in your sitting room, warm and snug, what else can we do? An Israeli minister the other day said, you know, maybe we should use nuclear weapons to take out Gaza. Or, if that doesn't work, well, let's send the Palestinians to Ireland. Now, that, <laughs> that is, to me, a sign of our honor that we recognize that we are the most outspoken member of the EU, never mind England and, and the, the Americans, recognizing the tragedy of what's happening in Gaza, recognizing the genocide, recognizing the outrageous killing of children and, and innocent civilians, which we've seen before in other parts of the world, but nothing as concentrated, as brutal, as unreal as, as we can see today. And Israel, is, in my mind, they've lost track of themselves. I mean, this is Zionism at its very worst. But to see this continue, and to know that Ireland is the most feared voice in the Israeli world is a good thing. I mean, we've seen this before. We've seen land being torn away from native Irish people. We've seen British landlords. We've seen the whole story. If the Americans and the British and the, we Europeans don't change our tune, it's, it's a tragedy that we will pay for. We will be no better than those who sent Jews to the concentration camps in the days of, of the Holocaust. I served a year and a half in Baghdad as head of the United Nations program to bring in the basic supplies for food, healthcare, education, which had been blocked by the British and the Americans through the Security Council. And the irony is, of course, that Saddam Hussein had nothing whatsoever to do with 9-11. But Iraq is now a, a destroyed country. It doesn't function anymore. And Gaza, of course, is simply not going to function, if ever for many, many years. I mean, the destruction is just unbelievable. Palestinian children, Iraqi children, Islamic children, Christian children, they're all valuable, they're all the same, they're all important. Mm -hmm.